Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Tech It Light Crash Course. As I mentioned before, uh, leather was still kind of hard to come across in, uh, in Tech It Light. And again, you still have to kill cows, but there are ways you can automate that process using a little mod called Mine Factory Reloaded. Basically it has some, uh, some very nice blocks which make farming so much easier. First one we're going to look at is going to be the breeder. Well, the basis of all this stuff is actually the uh, farm block, I believe it's called. Take a quick look here. So the breeder, as the name implies, basically once it gets power, helps to breed animals automatically. Let's see. So any plastic sheets, uh, factor machine block, that's the guy I was thinking of. As well as some golden carrots, golden apples, and purple dye, oddly enough. So I'm going to get some of that stuff together. We're going to make one of those and then come back to our bovine friends here to uh, see if we can get them to breed on their own without me having to hold weed up to them. All right, so we're back in our crafting area. Uh, basically, the factory machine block, if I can bring it up here, consists of plastic sheets and stone. So, do I have any plastic sheets in here? Yep, I got plenty. Three plastic sheets. I'm going to grab some stone. I'm going to open up our crafting table. So, three stone. Three plastic sheets makes three factory machine blocks, which is a very handy thing. You don't have to throw a bunch of materials into it just for a single block. So with this, I can actually make three machines. So we're going to also need some golden carrots, golden apple, purple dye. So I'm going to need gold and some plant material. Excuse me a moment. All right, take out my basic materials together. Uh, I just wanted to point out I did have to put a power switch on my uh, mass fabricator. Uh, basically, it's just a lever. You put it on top. When it receives a red soda signal, it stops producing UU matter, which is handy when you have when you know you already have this sucking all of the power out of this system in order to fill it. It's kind of a pain in the neck, but yeah, handy to know. So if you have an excess of UU matter or you just need power for something else, throw a switch on it. Want to turn it off? Just hit the switch. Regardless, grab our crafting table here. Going to make some uh, golden stuff. There we go. Carrots. And the apple, I th think, is actually made the same way. I haven't actually made one of these in a very long time. There we go. Golden apple, golden carrots. Extra golden stuff. We'll toss this back into there so what else do we I think we just need a couple more sheets of plastic yeah three more sheets of plastic got that stuff I need purple dye as well plastic and some purple dye I've got one I'll grab another Bit of indigo. Don't have any rose red dye, but I'll go ahead and make some. This is why it's handy to learn your uh, vanilla recipes, kids. Don't just rely on not enough items, because someday it might not work. Someday it might be playing vanilla. And you'll have to think of a recipe. But yeah, purple dye, machine block, apple carrots, and plastic, and one breeder. And I've never actually set one of these guys up. I know I'm going to need a tesseract, so let me get some uh, ender pearls. All right, so I think we've got our things together. Got a couple of uh, tesseracts here, an item and an energy to carry away items eventually. Probably need a liquid one, too, someday. I might just make some tanks out here for that part. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started. 
New Tesseract. I'm going to place this on the corner here for a good reason I'll think of later. Uh, the breeder, basically how all of these machines work, they'll affect uh, at their most basic a 5x5 five five area in front of them. It's actually part of why these pens are only 5x5. Five five. I was going to do this earlier, I just, well, never got around to it. So, I think this will work up here. And it has, and basically the side it's facing, the 5x5 five five area in front of it, is what it will work with. Right click on it, the breeder, basically you just give it whatever it is it needs. And we'll go ahead and run a bit of conduit over here. Now these will take either build craft power like these conduits, or they'll actually take uh, industrial craft electricity too, or uh, megajoules per tick, if you will. Uh, oh, I actually have to set the tesseract. Excuse me. I think everything's level 42 air record quarry channel. All right, so yep, they're getting power now. Already, as you can see, we've got some little uh, little cows popping out. Cool stuff. So that will go ahead and take care of our breeding for us. It'll automatically feed uh, any eligible cow, which is really nice. It also has a bit of a cooldown, so it doesn't go ahead and bog your server down with this stuff. You can also give it an off switch. Uh, let me call up a lever here. That is if my system still had power. That darned MFSU is still charging over there. Excuse me. Alright, so I've got a lever. Funk this little guy on top and it should stop functioning. There we go. So basically, if, uh, if at any point I just need to shut it down, say I've got an excess of cows... Hit switch, just like the uh, mass fab. Regardless, what am I gonna do with all these cows now? Well, there's a uh, another fascinating little instrument called the rancher. The rancher. Pull this little guy up. Uh, plastic sheets, shears, and another machine block. I'm gonna go and get that stuff together. All right, so we've got our plastic sheets. Along top there, factory block, shears, and a bucket. Now all of these uh, MFR blocks, what they're made out of basically gives a clue as to what they do. So if we place the rancher down, say, put it down underneath here. The cows still shouldn't be able to get out. So he's got a hole in the backside. Now, this will actually output a liquid, specifically milk. Uh, let's see, how am I going to get power to this guy? I need to do a bit of sideways engineering, so just bear with me here. So it's not the prettiest solution, but eh, it'll do for now. Now, with this uh, rancher, basically how this will work is... I'll remember how it works. Ah, yes. So we take a bit of waterproof pipe, and we form our glass into the tank that I need. Waterproof pipe there, put the tank there. It's, again, it's only a temporary solution, but it'll give you an idea of uh, what this thing is capable of. I think I have to turn the thing on. And there we go. You see he's got this uh, little bar here. It'll automatically milk cows. That's cool. Now if there were sheep in the pen here as well, 
it would shear the sheep at the same time. And I think actually drop their inventory in here. Neat stuff. It'll give you a little uh, tank full of milk, which you can then take a bucket to. You don't have to go and farm your cows anymore. Which is kind of neat. Now there is a third block that I'd like to show you. This is how we'll get our leather. It also has a liquid associated with it, so I'm going to get some more supplies for that. And I will be just a moment. Alright, got my stuff. This third machine is known as the grinder. And basically it, uh, well, it grinds mobs into uh, their component parts. Now for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and gotten everything together already. At least I hope I have everything. Plastic across the top again. I think there's a book on this side and piston this side. Yes. Grinder. So we're just gonna. Well, first we'll take this down. We don't want to give it power right away. We're definitely gonna want a lever for this guy too. I'm gonna whip one of those up. Basically, with the uh, with the grinder, we'll hopefully never have to worry about slaughtering cows again because it'll do it for us. Really wish this uh, terminal could reach a little bit farther. So I'll hop back over here. Again, grinder, 5x5 five five area. So we'll just put it in the middle of the side here. If this guy will move his fat head. Oh, scooch, scooch. For crying out loud. Out of the way. There we go, finally got it in place. I'm going to go ahead and throw a power switch on top of this guy now. Set on top. That way it doesn't go ahead and murder all of our cows before I have time to explain it. Right on, get out of the way. There we go. Now it's got power. It's probably be a little bit um, at least cleaner looking if I ran all this underground. Maybe we'll switch it up to that another time. As you see, this also has a hole coming out of the back of it. Let's go ahead and throw another tank together and I'll show you what kind of material that is. It's going to look a little weird. Good thing I have jet boots. Our milk thing is awful full over there. Basically what the grinder does... Oh, I need to set up another pipe. In order to extract... Eh, I think it'll keep in its inventory. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to fire this guy up. And we'll see exactly what happens. Boop. Wait for the cooldown or the idle to finish. It killed a cow. And as you can see, it is killing all of the adult cows. Every single one. And giving me all their goodies. So I don't even have to kill them myself. And also spat out this uh, curious green fluid. This green fluid, which I don't, I don't think is enough of in here to actually take in my bucket. But it's basically, it's called mob essence. And it's basically, well, liquid XP. Every time you'd murder one of these guys, it would give you a little bit of experience. Well, now the whole system is automated. Neat. Now, these guys, normally you'd have to wait forever for them to grow up. But I don't have all day for that. So there is one last item, technically two, that I could do. Which will help them grow up big and strong, nice and fast. I'm gonna go do that. All right, so we got our stuff together, at least to make the uh, basic item. It's called a syringe, and the syringe, made with a, a bit of rubber on top, iron down below, and plastic around the outside, gives you one empty syringe. Now, the empty syringe, it's a reusable item, which you can use in a couple different ways. First, 
There is the growth hormone syringe. Basically, take a golden carrot, throw it in with the syringe. Doesn't have to be any particular order. Take this little guy. You go up to a little cow or any other baby animal. Right click. Becomes a full sized animal. Neat stuff. And like I said, it does. It only gives you one use, but like I said, it is uh, completely reusable. Now, another thing you can do with it, take a bit of rotten flesh, and you surround the thing, it'll give you a zombie syringe. Now, the zombie syringe actually has the exact same effect as the growth hormone syringe, except there's a small chance that whatever you inject will turn into a zombie. So, potential downside there. But hey, gets the job done. Okay, still have thing in there, just not making any calves. There is also a uh, a block associated with those syringes. I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials for that. I'll be right back once again. All right, we're back once again. This final block that I mentioned is what is known as a veterinary station. Veterinary station is made like so. I need a couple spider eyes, oddly enough. Let's see, machine block again. A little bit of plastic across the top here. What the veterinary station does is it basically you take these uh, syringes that you have, reverse that. Basically, put the syringes in here, and as long as it has enough syringes, it will inject the baby animals automatically and make them into adults. All right, through the magic of editing, I now have a zombie syringe. We'll pop that guy in there. And as soon as the timer counts down... Do we have any baby animals, animals left? Aminals? Animals? I don't even know. I think I'm using it right. Okay, right, so let's uh, fire up the breeder here. Make us some additional babies. What is this thing doing? Okay, we got a pair of babies. That'll be enough for now. Hmm. Curious. So apparently this always works. It doesn't even need the uh, zombie syringe in it. Interesting stuff. Well, here, let, let's grab an off switch. Turn that guy off for now. Uh, fire the breeder back up. Get a couple babies in here so that, uh, well, the grinder doesn't kill all of my cows. Alright, so I got two babies. That's enough to uh, breed up another herd. Shut that guy off. Fire this guy up. And watch it do its thing. While it's doing it, I'm actually going to lay down a bit of pipe here. Yeah, one thing I forgot to take into consideration is uh, where all that stuff's going to go. I meant to uh, set up a pipe and I completely forgot. I set up my Tesseract here. Since it's the same place as the quarry items. See if you can't get this uh, going again a little bit. Oh, while we're waiting, might as well enjoy a uh, little beverage. Uh, as you can see, I've got enough mob essence here to make a bucket. Can I drink it? I cannot drink it. Can I lay it on the ground? I cannot lay it on the ground either. Yeah, basically, mob essence can only be fed into machines. Those machines can be used to automatically enchant items, uh, you can even make a uh, mob spawner out of it, which is kind of neat. But that's uh, that's neither here nor there, or over here for that matter. So we'll wait a little bit longer, wait, get some cows, and start this process over again. Alright, there we go. I think we've succeeded in creating enough calves to repopulate. Go and hit the grinder again. 
Wait for the delay. And dead. Well, tasty, delicious meat and leather. We'll go straight into the Tesseract. Cool stuff. So, to review. Ranchers extract milk from cows, as well as shearing sheep if they're available, which in this case are not, regardless. Uh, we've got the breeder here, which makes more small cows. We've got the veterinary station, which makes the cows big. And again, this can be used for any kind of livestock. Chickens, pigs, what have you. You just have to make sure you put the proper uh, vegetable in the breeder, which I think I just used my last one. And then the grinder uh, chops up mobs, specifically adult mobs, which are within its range, and f spits out both their items and mob essence. Now, mob essence can be used for other cool stuff later on. We'll go more into that another time. For now, that's an episode. Hope everyone has a nice day. See you next time.